Welcome to the LEAD Center for Performing Arts and the pre-performance talk for On Broadway, performing at the LEAD Center on Friday, November 13th at 3 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. My name is Sasha Dobson and I am the Education Outreach Coordinator for the LEAD Center. A cast of four seasoned Broadway artists will present a cabaret style concert of songs from some of Broadway's favorite hit musicals, including The Lion King, Hamilton, Company, West Side Story, Waitress, The Music Man, Tina, Dear Evan Hansen, Hades Town, Come From Away, Aladdin, My Fair Lady, Phantom of the Opera, Wicked, Chicago, Moulin Rouge, The Book of Mormon, and Beautiful. The four artists who will be taking the stage here in Lincoln are Ariana Asar and Alan H. Green, Jacob Heron, Jacob Heron, and Jessica Hendy. Let's get to know a little bit more about these four artists. Ariana Afsar is known for originating the role of Eliza in Chicago's production of Hamilton. Before her career on Broadway, Ariana was a reality TV sensation on American Idol, placing top 36 in season eight. She also had great success in the pageant world, earning the title of Miss America's Outstanding Teen in 2005 and Miss California in 2010. Ariana is a graduate of Ethnomusicology Jazz from UCLA. She just released her debut album, Somewhere I Thought I'd Be. She is also currently composing a new musical with playwright Lauren M. Gunderson called Jeanette. This is an epic pop musical based on the true story of America's first Congresswoman, Jeanette. This story electrifies the life and history of suffragette activist, social worker, and Montanan, Jeanette Rankin. Jeanette was the first woman elected into Congress four years before women could vote. This new musical has been selected for the prestigious O'Neill National Musical Theater Conference, one of three selected musicals from a pool of over 400. Other accomplishments of Ariana are that she opened for Michelle Obama at the Shrine Auditorium, performed at the US Institute of Peace, and appeared at the ACLU National Conference in DC. She is an advocate, performer, and public speaker for the Women's March, the Social Innovation Summit, Nexus Global, the University of Chicago, the Move On Rally on the Steps of the US Supreme Court and the United States of Women. She is a pow proud Bangladeshi and a proud American. Let's learn a little bit more about Alan H. Green. He is best known for his performance in several Broadway hit musicals, including Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, School of Rock, Sister Act, Play On, and The Visit. Alan was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but raised in Texas. His father moved his family to Baytown, Texas when Alan was five. He grew up there and went to Robert E. Lee High School, where he was captain of the football team, a blue chip All-American running back, played the string bass in the Texas All-State Orchestra, was one of the top debaters in the country, student council president, homecoming king, and graduated number two in a class of over 500 students. He attended Rice University on a football scholarship, majoring in pre-law, but ended up graduating with a BA in vocal performance from Rice's Shepherd School of Music. During his last years in college, he had a music ministry singing for churches and religious events all over the world. After college, he sang on cruise ships that literally took him to New York City. After only living in New York for three months, Alan landed his first role on Broadway. Since then, he has been seen and heard in concerts uh, from the White House to the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem, on Broadway and Radio City and stages across the country and on the small screen. 
Some fun facts that Alan lists on his resume under special skills include aerobics, baseball, bodybuilding, bowling, cheerleading, cycling, football, gymnastics, ice skating, racquetball, skiing, trampoline, and volleyball. Let's learn a little bit more about Jacob Heron now. He is best known for his performance in the Broadway hit musical, The Book of Mormon. On his web website, Jacob shares a fun story about how he got his start in the performing arts. Dad, I hate baseball. <laughs> the famous words I was terrified to tell my dad in kindergarten. I knew I was getting close to t-ball age, so I mustered up some courage and made the admission. His response, that's okay, Jacob. We'll find something you like. Oh, did they? After observing the natural partnership I had with my sister for all things singing and dancing, my parents had me audition for a local production of Annie. I marched in with my cassette tape accompaniment and sang a song called Happy Birthday Jesus. I was hooked. I did my first musical when I was six, dabbled in commercials, before quickly telling my mom, this is boring, nobody claps for you. I went to college to get a BFA in musical theater and then made my Broadway debut at 26 with the word, hello. <laughs> As for now, well, with Mr. Bernstein's orchestrations playing in my head, I sing, who knows? I love musical theater with a fiery passion, but growing up meant realizing that what I truly love more than anything in the world is excellent storytelling. A good story is the shortest distance between two people, right? If only I had never told my dad the truth. Maybe the acting bug would have spared me. Truth is, after the first time he watched me try to throw a baseball, he looked at my mom and said, um, that boy probably shouldn't touch that thing ever again. <laughs> Some fun facts that Jacob lists on his resume under special skills include Disneyland Disney Park trivia, impressions, strong falsetto, basic piano, basic puppeteering skills, basic juggling, trombone, singing while hanging from a vine. <laughs> I'd like to see that one. A flying experience with Paul Rubin hmm. and licensed driver. And last but not least, let's learn about Jessica Hendy. Jessica Hendy is best known for her iconic performances in Broadway hits such as Cats, Amour, and Ada. She has also been a guest soloist for many symphonies and orchestra, orchestras nationally. Jessica Hendy is a Broadway veteran, best known for her roles in Cats and Amneris in Ada. Prior to her Broadway debut, Jessica was featured on the national tour of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. She then made her Broadway debut in 1999 in the ensemble of Cats and understudying Grizabella. She went on to star on the national tour of Cats in the role. Her next Broadway show was Ada, playing the outland outlandish opulent Amneris. Jessica was also featured in the original Broadway cast of the musical Amour. Coming around full circle, Jessica most recently starred as Grizabella in the Andy Blankenbauer helmed Broadway revival of Cats. Fun fact, Jessica Hendy is the youngest actress to have played Grizabella in a Broadway production. Yes. Um, what, another thing I want to mention about Jessica Hendy is education is very important to the LEAD Center. And Jessica is going to be leading two separate master classes for students in our community. These are going to be vocal music, um, musical theater style master classes. Jessica will lead one for university students at UNL and another one for area high school students who are interested in a career in musical theater. We are so grateful to have all these amazing, amazing artists making the trip to our home state of Nebraska to perform on the Lead Center stage. Can't wait to see you at the show. I hope you enjoy.